This piece is, is special. The poetry, the setting, uh, and I think the way we've come together as an ensemble to perform it is going to be in some ways heart-wrenching and comforting. It's, it's a unique piece. Maria Schneider, who's a giant in the, in the jazz world, uh, her amazing composing for large ensemble. This is a piece that she wrote uh, with, um, with Don Upshaw uh, in mind to sing the, uh, the lyric. And so this was written for um, soprano soloist and her Maria Schneider's uh, uh, orchestra ensemble. Um, and then a few years ago, about four or five years ago, Ray Jean Marois of Capilano University um, wanted to set it to um, set it for voices for his ensemble uh, Nightcap, and so that this is the um, uh, arrangement that we're we're tackling, uh, and it's just it's just amazing, just amazing. I'm very uh, used to singing uh, art song and some opera, some musical theater. Um, so when I first heard this. Uh, set of pieces sung by Dawn Upshaw really spoke to me because she was always a singer who I really looked up to when I was doing my undergrad. I just love her ability to bring out the text when she sings and uh, hearing her do that in this set inspired me to um, to want to do the same uh, when we're singing it. So yeah, it's... I love it. <laughs> I have a, a lot of um, affection for uh, for this music and particularly for Rajan, I'm a graduate of, of Capilano. Rajan is, uh, is one of my music uh, gurus um, and uh, so it's, it's just a thrill for me to be part of this, uh, this performance. Most of what we do in Musica Intima is unaccompanied. Uh, so usually we're not singing with other instruments, uh, but in this piece the sort of interplay between singers and instrumentalists is essential to how the poetry is constructed, how the piece all comes together, and all the, the nine poems are, are woven into one, into one story. So this particular quartet that has been as assembled, Bill Kuhn, Miles Black, Jody Prosnick, and Craig Scott are just, you know, of the highest, highest level of improvising musicians in, uh, in Vancouver. So we're completely thrilled. I think Intima is, is suited for this piece because of um, the diversity of voices in the ensemble. Music Intima is uh, unusually well suited for this because we're sort of are, are good at straddling a couple of different stylistic um, roles. Because um, it sounds, the Maria Schneider's writing is very orchestral, but she's written it with uh, improvising musicians in mind. And uh, there's quite a number of us that have those sorts of skill sets. So many. Lucy gets this amazing solo in the second movement, uh, where she just gets to throw back and uh, and sing all the amazing um, stuff that 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 her instrument can do. You know, high and low range, and you know, in great immense drama. There are two moments in the fifth and the ninth movements uh, that are quite orchestral in the writing. The voices are singing these lush romantic harmonies, and I love how. They're similar in their harmonic writing, but the, once you've gone through the entire set of poetry and you get to the final one, there's this new sense of depth, this new understanding as the choir sings through. And so I love the, the hearkening back to what we've already heard and what we've already sung, but the sort of newness in the way we approach it as we get to the end. Uh, my favorite movement in this piece is In Gussy Winds. Um, and that's both because of the beauty of the poetry and how it is paired to the instrumentation. I just love how it's been written. And so hearing the, the combo play it and then when we can add our voices in, it just um, makes a really beautiful uh, complement to the text. And then the fifth movement, Steve sings this bit, my wife and I walk the cold road. And there's this bit where he sings all we wish for is 30 more years of this, and I have to not actually listen to those words in the moment because, you know, I'll, I'll just be gone, forget it. It's, it's so beautiful. 
yeah this whole work is has so many moments like that it's it's just sort of a one and one of a kind piece and i think this will be a one of a kind performance i hope the audience can enjoy the uh the text first and foremost the music setting is so such a, a gorgeous setting for this for this text and it really makes it makes it come alive it's it's um it's so heartfelt and so sincere i hope the audience takes away um just a sense of freedom to contemplate the meaning of life and why they're on this earth um and to contemplate our sense of time and what that means and how we can best use it. I just think that message comes through so clearly in the poetry and um, I hope that that will impact the audience as much as it's impacting me. Yeah.